Hi everybody, this is the uh, smoke machine I used on the uh, station. This is Mark II. Mark I was a complete failure. It's a very simple operation. First you just turn the uh, burner on. And you should see straight away smoke's coming out. Yeah, and the next one is put the pan on. I don't know whether you can see that smoke very well. But it soon thickens up. Right, so what do you need to build one of these? Right, the first thing you need is a power source. I've got a transformer here which goes from 9 to 18 volts. I found out if it went too high, it set fire to the wick instead of the, just burning the smoke. So I've been running this one on 9 volts. Then you need an airtight container. Pan, a little 12 volt pan. Now this is a wick out to its wine bottle wick. What you'd put oil in a wine bottle and set fire to it for outside like patio use. I think I've got about 12 of these for 4 quid off eBay. And then there's the actual coils that burn. These are vape coils. You can, you can see them in there little coils and that's where I got them from again from eBay about a fibre for 10 coils a few bits of wires some chocolate block, block bit of pipe aluminium foil baby oil and another power source to power the pan Right, the first thing, to get your pan, make sure you know which way it's blowing. So you want to be blowing into the container. Which that one is now. So we know it wants to go that way. Right, well I've marked out and drilled the holes and I'll bolt that on. Obviously before, you want to get as near to this ring as you can. I will seal it all around with uh, hot glue, but um, I'll bolt that down. Cut the hole out and bolt it down anyway. So that's a uh, fan fitted bolt into place. No, it's spinning the right way. The next thing to do is start fitting the element. I'm using this wire. I've got four, two for each power source. So I use the blue and the green and the red and the yellow. For this, I want to put a wire through each side, nearer the floor. But before I do that, I'm going to line the base with some aluminium foil. It just stops, if there is a bit of heat coming off the element, it stops it burning out through the bottom. Now, I can find the drill.
Now I want this wick, I'll cut this wick down, but I want it to be sat in the oil. So it, if you have it too high up, you need loads of oil. So I'm going to drill the holes. Let me cut that down. So I want that to fit about there. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm going to drill the hole about three quarters of an inch, 20 odd mil, if I can. On each side. push the wire through. Actually, I'll push the big end through. What I've done here is I've cut uh, the plastic insulation off two chock, quite big ones. So I'm going to put those onto the end. If I don't put on it first. Why I cut the plastic bits off because on the first one I made they actually sat on fire and the stink was terrible so that's why I did it this time. Right so now I'll get a couple of these. And pull them out. Right, I want to somehow feed this into the wick. So I'm find something sharp to push it through. Right, so I get the element. Feed that up there. And then wrap it. round and push that through that end. Doesn't look very pretty but it doesn't have to. I do the same again on the other side. Then those two want to go in there. So I've connected the power up. I'm going to put 9 volts through it and see uh, what happens. There's no oil on it obviously, but I just want to make sure it glows and doesn't go red. 
Now I don't know if you can see that, it's just starting to glow, it's just going a bit red. Obviously it's the wick that's... Um... So put a bit of paper oil on this now. And there's your smoke. Well, take the put the power off, so we know that's smoking. Let it cool. Right, I'm just going to glue these wires in. Right, I've just wired the pan up to the transformer. Now I'm going to cut a hole in this container to get the smoke out. Right, so I've put the pipe on and glued that all up. So now it's a matter of trying her out. I won't put the pan on first, I'll just get the oil burning. Guess what? I've wired the fan the wrong way. So I think I could do with a bit of a bigger pipe, but it's all I've got at the moment. But that's certainly doing the job. So that's it, a quick and simple smoke machine. Okay, well thanks for watching. Please comment. If you've got any questions, just ask me them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Okay, bye for now. This is just uh, another idea I had about the landscaping. Adding the, uh, to make it look like fog instead of smoke.